Good evening, everyone. Um, it's uh, an incredible um, privilege for a musician, for a conductor, to be anywhere near this piece. Um, it's the last opera that Wagner wrote. Premiere in Bayreuth, 1882. Uh, the piece for which Bayreuth was built. I think to know anything about the music of this opera, the best place to start is the prelude. Now I'm going to do a little experiment with you. Um, uh, I'll, first of all, I'll sing you a couple of beginnings of Wagner operas. Uh, first act, Valkyr. Lohengrin. A very diaphanous, but very... Rheingold. <laughs> Tannhäuser. Do, di, do, di. La, do, do, di. Um, Flying Dutchman. Etc. So the, these are very, uh, perhaps the most mysterious beginning to an opera is, is the one from Tristan, which is um, the the one you know, you, you know so well. But even that, with the first two notes, you kind of feel that there's a downbeat, right? Well, with Parsifal, the idea, imagine the, the, the dark setting, sort of like, like this. Please do me a favor and close your eyes, because I think it's very important when you listen to this music, there's something about it. Just close your eyes, and I'm going to conduct and Mark is going to play, but close your eyes. Here we go. open them again. Um, can you tell me if the piece started on downbeat, the first note, to play it? Actually, that starts on the, on the second beat of the bar. And the fact is, if you, now if you, with your eyes open, watch me conduct it, one. It's a syncopation. In fact, there are a series of syncopations. There is the first time you really feel a downbeat, if you like. Now imagine, imagine you don't, can't see the conductor, you can't see the orchestra, you can't see the way the bow is moving, and you hear that. And this irritated many commentators, many critics, because they said, what is going on? There's no, there's no pulse, there's no rhythm, there's no... Exactly. That's the point. V Wagner is trying to create a sense of remoteness, musically, of, of, of place, of time, a remoteness that has nothing to do with our everyday world. And he creates it through this theme. This theme then uh, is enriched by a series of arpeggios and very um, a kind of murmuring in the orchestra. And then we hear the theme, this theme that you heard at the beginning played out by the trumpet. of the trumpet um, uh, really it, it does when you listen to it it really will pierce your heart it it it, it does that 
this theme that, that Mark has played now several times, what is it really? It's just a triad. But then, here, this part of the theme. Where it goes into the minor key, and this um, denotes the suffering of the character of Amfortas in the guise of Jerry Finley. Der König stirbt. They set him down. He's stumbling. He says, Okay, that's fine. I need a little rest. Holy silence. And now he describes his wild dreams he had and very difficult suffering at night. But he's refreshed by the morning. He, that describes the uncorrupted nature around him. He being, of course, corrupted and unpure now. I'm leaving out a whole bunch of stuff of the most beautiful music you could ever possibly imagine describing uh, Good Friday and what the day it is. Yes. 
Funde, das Gift verschwärme, dass es zerwagt, erschwärme das Herz. Mein Vater, dich Sorry. 